Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, that you've given me to speak. And Lord, I offer myself up as a living sacrifice to you, Lord. As a living sacrifice to you, Lord. Not my will, but thy will be done. I am not my own. I am not my own. But I am yours. I belong to you. Holy, all of me, without hesitation, without reservation, I belong to you, Lord. And this world, this world is not my home. It, it holds nothing for me, and there's nothing that I want, that I need, nothing that I, that I require of this world anymore. This world is not my home anymore. My home is with you in heaven, Lord, with you in heaven, and with all the saints, all the angels, the Heavenly Father, and with Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, that's my goal. That's my goal, to get back into those loving arms where I was before, where I belong, Lord, and wherever, where, where the other poor people, where they belong as well. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I pray, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth and no one is beneath me and the only thing the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven and I am God's dirt I uh, I'm sad I'm sad because there's just so many people being attacked just so many people being attacked and and this is this video is not, it's not for any one person in particular. It's, it's for basically everybody that's being attacked. Somebody once told me, the best revenge is living well. Now you notice I didn't say rich or powerful or having lots of possessions. No, living well. Living well. And when you're in Jesus Christ, you will live well. I think maybe some people are being attacked because they're not fully giving themselves up as a living sacrifice to Jesus. It's kind of like they want to keep one foot in the world and one foot in heaven and it, that doesn't work. I know a lot of people have tried that, but more and more and more it's 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 not gonna work it's not gonna work you have to pick one side of the fence and get on it and get on it I uh, if if anybody if anybody would have a reason to hate it would be me my family years ago they stole a business out from under me a multi-million dollar business they stole it out from under me and then they stole my young children away from me so if anybody would have a reason to hate it it would be me but I got to a point I got to a point I know I was living high on the hog and I, I had everything in the world that I wanted but I but it, at the time, I didn't have Jesus. And one day I was living in fancy homes and driving a new car and had many employees working for me and had everything. And then a year later, I was living out of my car. And everything I owned in the world was in that car. So I, I had, I carried hate. I carried a lot of hate. But hate doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. And I had to, I had to let go of that hate. I had to let it go. 
and and when I let it go, it was it was a huge burden that was taken off of me. It was a huge burden that was taken off of me. And judgment, judgment is is God. Judgment is of God. Let God be the judge. Let Him judge those that have wronged you. And if they don't repent of their sin and get right with God, then then they will be judged. They will be judged. I just want everybody, especially in these last days, and today it's a beautiful day. The birds are chirping and singing, and and it's a nice day, and it's not too hot, it's not too cold. But one day soon, these days are going to end. You better be on the right side of the fence when those days end. Because we're going to be called home. We're going to be called home very soon. And no matter what you have to do, no matter what you have to do, you have to get right with God. You have to get right with God. There's only, there's only two options. There's nothing else. It's either heaven or hell. So you can join those that wronged you, or you can live in paradise for eternity and live well. This is, this is all coming to an end. These days are numbered, and it's, it's quickly collapsing down. One day the eastern sky is going to roll up like a giant scroll, and there'll be a there'll be a shout from an archangel, and the trumpet of God will sound, and the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we which are left alive, we will be caught up to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore, forevermore. And wherever He is at is where we will be. And we pray that we see You there. We pray we see you there. And leave judgment up to God. But just pray to be found worthy to escape what's coming. Because it's going to be bad. Things are only going to get worse. And especially if you're not rapture ready, things are going to get really bad. But the faithful, the faithful, we will be called up to meet Jesus in here. And I know Satan, he likes to trick people. He likes to tell you you're not saved, that you're not forgiven. You've been too sinful. You can never be forgiven of your sins because you was just too bad. But Satan, he just, he just tricks everybody. He tricks everybody. And, and Satan is the father of lies. Keep that in mind. You need to you need to offer yourself up as a living sacrifice to Jesus and claim him as your one and only true Savior because he is worthy he is worthy of all praise all glory and all honor forever and ever no one else is and there's nothing of this earth that can save you me or anyone only Jesus can save us now. Only Jesus can save us now. So we pray for all of you. God bless you. God keep you. Each and every one. That's our prayer. And we love you so, all so very, very much.